Hey Aqua, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. So let's tap in Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with you guys. All right. Um, thank you guys for your love, your support, your donations, and your super thanks, Aqua. I am sending all that love back to you guys tenfold, okay? So let's tap into the energy. Let's see what's going on with you all. All right. Hmm. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return to your spell work and dark magic that a sense of harm. Aqua and your loved ones, me and my loved ones, returning back to the center, blocking the interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my aquas and protect me as I channel the messages here for Aquarius. So I saw um, the Mariah Carey card on there where it says Diva and then what it gave me was that you could be speaking up about something here. I saw Aries behind that and Mariah Carey is an Aries. So you could be dealing with an Aries or you could have Aries in your chart Aquarius. You could be having the confidence and the willpower to speak up about something. And this could be making somebody mad with the Aries energy, with that Mars. Or you could be speaking with aggression, with a lot of passion. Yeah. And somebody could be upset about it. Some of you guys could be pregnant. Okay. Okay. Or a karmic energy could be pregnant. Or you're pregnant with like new ideas. So what's going on here for Aqua? Cancer. So a cancer could be significant. What's going on with cancer? So fourth house energy. Maybe this could be you starting a family or you're, you're dealing with a cancer here that has a lack of emotional intelligence. Um, but I get like fam home and family with the fourth house cancer. So you could be starting a family or something with family could be significant. Okay. What's cancer? She devil, malicious or spiteful woman. Oh, okay. So there's a cancer that's a malicious or a spiteful woman here. So let's see. Or it doesn't have to be Taurus. So you could be also dealing with a Taurus or maybe this cancer has Taurus in their chart. Who's the Taurus? okay abused you're being abused and need help or you're the one doing the abuse so either this Taurus is doing the abuse or this Taurus is being abused and it could be yeah there's a diva here and there's Aries so you could be speaking up about this about some sort of abuse so Aqua where you come at in this <laughs> like let's see what else or you just got these uh, signs in your chart. We have nightlife groupie tapping in, tapping into energies. Hmm. It's a lot being exposed. So let's see. Here, look. Hmm. Cancer in the reverse. And that uh, cancer that uh. Queen of Cups in reverse is somebody that's malicious and spiteful. So I guess we're going to see, huh? Okay, so the Sun reverse. Leo energy. So... Mm, somebody's in their ego, okay, with the sun in the reverse. This could be somebody feeling let down or they're not getting some sort of victory. This could be like oppression as well. Somebody's oppressed. Somebody could be feeling stuck somewhere. What's Cancer with the She Devil card? The Eight of Pentacles. So, something about work could be significant. Maybe this person is, this could be workplace abuse, harassment for some of you. But the Eight of Pentacles here is you working, you're focusing on your work. Okay, this could be you getting a new job or you're seeing progress here with your work. Something about somebody having a good reputation with the Eight of Pentacles is where you could be dealing with a Virgo. You have Virgo in your chart. Yeah, so this Eight of Pentacles could be you committed to something or you're being very, you're very skilled at something that you do. Yeah, Empress and the Nine of Pentacles. So you could be very skilled at something that you do at your job. What's cancer with the eight of pentacles here? And the 
star reverse. So somebody's in despair. That's you, Aquarius. So you could be, I don't know, for some of you guys, if this is you, you could be in despair about this person that's good at their work. Or somebody is working on, this could be like um, somebody has mastered something about themselves or trying to when it comes down to healing. Or somebody is focused on their healing. But the star is like somebody being in despair. Maybe somebody's in despair too because you're actually focused. You're looking down at your work. You're focused on something else. Or you're committed somewhere else. So somebody else is in despair. They're upset. Mm -hmm. This is like somebody here bored or lacking inspiration. Okay, a lack of faith could be significant too. What's the Eight of Pentacles? You get a death card. So a death and a rebirth or something here is over. You've ended something. But this is a transition here. This could be a transition into a new job, a new skill, a new talent, something that you're good at. Okay. What's the Eight of Pentacles with the death card? Scorpio. Oh, okay. So there's going to be a death being put to this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy. Somebody here that don't complete or finish what they start. Somebody making promises that they can't keep or um, somebody being very irresponsible, unreliable. You can't depend on them for shit. Somebody here is superficial. What's this Knight of Pentacles reverse? Somebody. Yeah, the Knight of Wands in reverse. Mm, Sagittarius. Oh, so something coming to an end with this damn person, ain't it? The moon, the four cups reverse. Whoever this Knight of Wands is here that's competing with you. The Knight of Wands is somebody that's that's reckless or they're, they're fearful as well. Very hot-headed though, very abusive, very temperamental. They don't know how to control themselves, very reckless as well. So something, something is transforming or coming to an end with this person. Yeah, maybe this King of Cups is a Cancer. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or it could be that... Queen of Cups ass hole in the reverse. Who knows? But what's this death card? Yeah, the moon. Uh, what's the death card here with the moon? The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like because you switch something up or you change your plan, somebody else is stuck. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse is a change of plans or... Somebody is nervous or scared that they might have made the wrong investment. Okay, somebody is losing a lot. There's a lot of frustration, setbacks and delays. Somebody's really being impatient about some things too. Somebody's frustrated. And the moon, that's Cancer Energy, Cancer Pisces. But you could have moved in silence here, Aquarius. And there could have been some plans that you changed. In silence, you ended something. In silence, you moved in silence, period. Something is over and you're focused on something else. Okay, so it's throwing whatever the fuck this is that this person is doing off. Somebody is not getting somewhere with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it's like whatever this person is doing, they just set themselves up for failure. <laughs> they really did. What's the star reverse? Yeah, the sun reverse. Somebody's like miserable. Leo energy. What's the star reverse, the sun reverse? The five of cups. Yeah, somebody's like sad or depressed. Somebody's energy is so fucking draining. They're miserable as fuck. We have the king and the queen poking out with the tower. So something shocking could be happening with the connection. I'm saying this is a good tower with the king and queen upright. I feel like this is um a power couple. You guys could be getting married. A connection could be coming together now or in the future or whatever. And the tower is, is shocking somebody. I don't really feel like this tower is bringing down this relationship. I feel like you guys are both stable, wealthy, secure, your counterparts. The tower, to me, is something being like somebody's shocked. They're, they're going through a tower. They're shocked that you got somewhere. They're shocked that you're with your person or whatever this is. It's like you played somebody at their own damn game. They thought that they was doing something. Yeah, and now you're protected or you were protected, but there's even more protection here. Or whatever. Some of you guys could be pregnant too in this relationship. As well as starting a new business. A new business venture could be taken off or whatever this is. Yeah. Yeah, this could be what you're keeping quiet. You need to keep it quiet and just... I mean, ain't nobody finna do shit to you. But I'm just saying, just keep your shit quiet. It's just better to keep things quiet. And that's how I view it. 
but um yeah so somebody's like low on energy this is the sun in reverse is like a lack of vitality energy like somebody just feels really low they're sad they're like in despair they're like really in despair about something Maybe somebody here is stuck with a she-devil, malicious, or a spiteful woman. They're sad that they're stuck with this bitch that they don't want to be with. Or this is a spiteful-ass man, a cancer man that's spiteful and a, and a he-devil, whatever. Flip the roles. So what's Taurus with abuse? Somebody, like, is in regret about some shit. Or they're just sad. They're angry. Okay, two of cups reversed. What's the Taurus with the abuse and the two of cups reversed? And the two of wands. Aries, Mars, here we got Cancer, Venus. So, yeah, this this is definitely could be an, an abusive relationship with the Two of Cups in the reverse that somebody's in. Or they could be somebody could be trying to break up or get away from somebody that's abusive. Or this is you. Maybe you clean, clean, uh, you've cleansed your energy of this abusive connection and you're moving on to a new relationship. Two of Wands or something. Two of Wands is like planning or somebody is trying to wait and see if you're going to come back. Hmm. Two of Wands is like planning, anticipating. So you're planning to move forward and somebody else's shit is falling apart. What's this Two of Cups reverse? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. What's Two of Cups reverse? Three of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Yeah, so I feel like you're in a partnership here, uh, Aquarius. These readings been coming out like this all day. Like things are coming together from for the divine and the chosen beings. And you're going to realize or you're going to see and witness people around you that have done nasty shit to you. You're going to witness their karma. Their relationships are falling apart. They're losing money. They're losing uh, jobs, homes, people. They're losing their own damn mind. Like people going through really bad karma. So I feel like you have some sort of good news here with the Page of Cups. Or there's something involving a child. This could be too learning from your past mistakes. And this could be like being open to vulnerability. You know, not being so closed off. Actually putting your heart out there. Just a little bit, you know, a page of cups or something, something little, a nice offer or whatever. Maybe there's somebody here want to apologize, but... What's Page of Cups? Or the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, opening up about something, sharing something. This Page of Cups could also talk about creative expression. So there could be something here that you're opening up about, you're sharing. Maybe you're sharing something about your your inner, like your childhood wounds or abuse that you've been through in the past. You're sharing something or somebody wants to share something with you. What's page of cups with the four of pentacles reverse? Or somebody. Okay. Oh, okay. So the queen of swords in reverse. So somebody here wants to steal something? Or you're opening up about something here that you've been through and this queen of swords don't like it? Somebody here is a liar and they're a thief. Very much so bitter. This queen of swords in reverse is bitter. about you being expressive hmm. they don't like that they want you to silence you i want you to be quiet what's the queen of swords reverse bitch get the fuck on <laughs> what's queen of swords reverse somebody could be trying to give someone a hard time around children the ace of pentacles what's the eight the queen of swords reverse with the ace of pentacles the Nine of Cups. There's something new and solid here. The Ace of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups. This is like fame, recognition, acclaim, fortune, and prosperity. Ace of Pentacles is new money coming in or something solid. You can taste it, touch it, feel it, whatever. Something something good is coming in here. Definitely with your money. Your finances can really look real good. And I'm also getting, if you're seen in a public eye in any sort of way, you get into a bag, period. You're starting a business. This could also be a pregnancy announcement or an engagement announcement that somebody is trying to speak nasty over or they're lying about something. Somebody here giving somebody bad advice about some shit. What's this Three of Pentacles? 
Or somebody too, I can look at this as somebody being greedy and shit. Somebody only just... I'm hearing something about exploitation here. Yeah, five of swords, the justice in reverse. The cherry reverse, king of cups reverse. Yeah, you're free from whoever this toxic ass king of cups is in reverse. That's very abusive, emotionally unavailable. Somebody is a gaslighter. They're mentally and emotionally abusive. And they could be sexually abusive too. Trigger warning. So you're expressing something. Maybe you're expressing this. Somebody could actually end up going to jail for doing this. Somebody here don't want to take accountability for their fucking actions. Yeah, then we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So a couple? What's this? Uh, let me see. What's this Three of Pentacles, man? So there's something that you're expressing about yourself that's causing a breakup somewhere else. Some of you guys, some of you guys have awakened people or you're... It's just you expressing something. It's like... What's the Three of Pentacles? Ooh wee. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, so being focused, taking action, being assertive, a leader. So the Knight of Swords is too, is a rescue or somebody coming to your rescue or this could be big changes, something here happening fast. This could be too, you just being direct about something, but this could be seizing opportunities and big changes. So if something did, something did change that was big and it could be that you're collabing with somebody or in a partnership. What the fuck is the Three of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords? Yeah, the Eight of Swords in reverse. So you're, you've been released, released from some sort of mental prison. That's what changed. You're no longer scared or you're no, no longer silenced or being victim or playing the victim or being victimized by no damn body. You're using, for some of you, you have a platform. You're using your work or your platform to speak up about this abuse. Just period. Yeah, confirmation. And yeah, I feel like you're being really direct or blunt or whatever this is. Yeah, the magician reverse, the emperor reverse. Yeah, about somebody being manipulative, evil on you, doing nasty shit to you, being a fucking dick. Okay, period. What's the nine of cups real quick? I feel like your wishes are being granted here, Aquarius. Yeah, okay, so that's what I was getting. Like, what's the nine of cups with the king of cups in the reverse? Okay, the emperor popped up right good. So yeah, this king of cups in reverse is a gaslighter. Somebody is mentally and emotionally abusive and they only think about themselves. With this nine of cups, I'm getting sex. Something about sex and pleasure. This person could masturbate to you a lot or something like that. Like they're trying to get into something. They're trying to steal something and they can't steal it. Whatever it is. What's the what's the emperor? It could be because this emperor is here. And it's, yeah, the king of wands. Somebody here that's a real boss, a real leader. Somebody that's going to take action, be assertive, be bold. Somebody that's very self-disciplined and focused. What's the damn king of cups reverse then? Yeah, the four souls in reverse. Somebody that's stressed the fuck out. They're sick and they raggedy. Or this could be you awakening. You could be going through an awakening here. Yeah, so so I feel like, yeah, you have an emperor or a king of wands coming in. Somebody that's upright, that's going to do the right thing. And they fine as fuck. And they're showing, showing you that they're a real man. They're stable. They're secure with themselves. And they're not going to do you dirty. Just period. And this king of cups over here in the reverse with they fucking slow ass. I feel like you could be going through some sort of ascension process when it comes down to speaking up for yourself when it comes down to this person. The four swords in reverse. Yeah, I feel like somebody here silenced you. The four swords in reverse is an awakening. Or this could be this bitch over here. This is a lack of faith or they're, they're in despair. They feel really, really overwhelmed or anxious, nervous all the fucking time. Definitely you survive some sort of mental and emotional attacks from them, though. This could be you finding the mental strength. And coming out of isolation when it comes down to this King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they no longer affect you anymore, period. That's what this is. Yeah, what's the Two of Wands? Yeah, the Empress, period. <laughs> Just period, that's you planning and moving forward. You're focused on what the fuck else, whatever you focused on. It ain't they ass. You don't give a fuck about them. You don't, and you're not scared of them either. 
at all. Somebody who wants to feel like they big and bad or whatever. And then this loud mouth hoe, whoever this hateful ass bitch is that's trying to curse you or speaking nasty shit over your life, they're a fucking loser. Somebody raggedy mama. Somebody mama got, somebody got mommy issues. That's why the fuck they're so fucking abusive. They mama raggedy and hateful. What the fuck is the two of wands with the empress? Somebody Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, mama. What's the two of, so, two of wands with the empress? Taurus, Libra. Yeah, the higher front reverse. So you could be living an alternative lifestyle. You're doing something that's causing a bit of controversy. I feel like you don't give a fuck. You're sitting up here pretty or handsome, you're fine. <laughs> and you're planning for your future. Definitely Taurus. This could be a false priest or there's negative patterns like on repeat. What's the damn higher from reverse? Or there's a group of people. This could be a hate group, a cult or whatever. What's the higher from reverse? The Ten of Cups. What's the high from reverse Ten of Cups? The Four of Wands. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you're doing something very different. It's, it's like you're not following societal norms. That could just be what this is. With this high for in reverse. Or there's a group of people trying to take you out, take you down. But it's not. It hasn't worked. Period. This is a beautiful twin flame relationship. I know that. The Emperor, the Empress, the Ten of Cups, and the Four of Wands. Very beautiful relationship. Very, very nice. Yeah, so I feel like because this King of Cups got mommy issues, they dealt with they're dealing with the hateful ass cancer energy. This uh they listened to the advice of their wicked ass mama and got with a dumb bitch, and now they gotta be stuck over there because the bitch they got a child with her, or whatever this is. Yeah, if something is, is over, it's coming to an end. <laughs> I feel like this is you happy, complete within yourself, you're whole. You could be in a union, or it's definitely coming. You could be starting a family with someone. There could definitely be changes being made to your home here. But this is wholeness, bliss, happiness, and completion. Yeah. What's the what's the empress here? So you could be pregnant with new ideas. Or some of you guys are pregnant. You're, you're having a baby with your emperor. What's the empress? Okay, the king of swords, period. Yeah, there's protection around you here, empress. This king of swords could be uh, Archangel Michael. Or we got the King of Swords here with the Queen of Swords in reverse. What's the Empress with the King of Swords? The Page of Wands. Magician reverse the wheel. So this King of Swords could be, okay, yeah. So this King of Swords could be wanting to reach out to you. Somebody here wants to flirt with you or they want to send you a message. They they feel sexually attracted to you. So this person is emotionally unavailable and all they want is sex. Who the fuck is the King of Swords with the page of wands? The Tower. So there could be some sort of unexpected text or phone call or email from somebody from your past that's childish. Okay. Some of you guys are going to find out you're pregnant. Hmm. Yeah, nine of pentacles. So congrats. But um, somebody here is going through a lot of chaos somewhere. And I don't, I don't trust this King of Swords. So that could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, man. So this could be an Aquarius acting a damn fool or they're trying to come back around after you didn't already are in the Empress energy. You've already found self-love, self-care, things like that. And some of you guys are finding out too you're pregnant or somebody is, is shocked that you are doing something new with your life. But I feel like there's a tower here and it's chaos going on somewhere. You've already in the four wands and the ten of cups. So... Why would you fucking dumb yourself down or whatever to go be back with somebody from your past that got a hateful ass bitch around? I feel like it's a no. I don't understand what somebody's doing. You're already happy. Four wands, ten of cups, because this ain't it. <laughs> this ain't it. And, you know, luckily I can read through these damn cards and can put two and two together because the King of Swords, what? They're very aloof, very elusive. And they got a queen of swords over here. They're a couple, or they were. 
and this person is trying to get away from this queen of swords in reverse. I feel like the bitch trying to steal this person from you. And you don't want them. You're somewhere with your emperor and the king of wands. Somebody that's going to take action, they're assertive. This king of swords is sitting here like what? With a page of wands? I just heard something. With that raggedy ass dick out? That's <laughs> what I just heard. And, um... wanting to talk now for some of you i can look at different ways too this king of swords could actually be a gemini libra aquarius masculine that you're getting ready to have a child with and it's going to be shocking so it's like time to plan now it's time to put things in motion okay this could be this emperor it could be the same person but i mean i don't know i don't like that king of cups in reverse i don't know who the fuck that is that could just be a different situation as well i feel like you're purging just a lot of shit aquarius Everybody from your past that acted a damn fool, I feel like they asked me to stay the fuck where they at. And these people are trying to confuse you about who the fuck your masculine is. The emperor is matching the damn empress. And that's the only match that I see, if I'm being honest. Because we see the queen of wands here in reverse with the king of wands. So that ain't no match. That's karmic as fuck. That's karmic. So anyways, Queen of Swords in reverse with the King of Swords upright. I feel like, no. <laughs> I feel like, get the fuck. What's Nightlife Groupie? Fuck no. Five of Wands reverse. What's Nightlife Groupie with the Five of Wands reverse? Yeah, you're not competing with no fucking Nightlife Groupie. The fuck? You're not competing with no Groupie. <laughs> like, who the fuck? No. The High Priestess. Somebody here still got negative patterns repeating with the heart from reverse. Somebody's not learning something. They haven't gained the wisdom that they need for y'all to even come together. That's not your person. If you're an empress, you damn sure belong with a high-ranked, probably a high-ranked high priest, a high-ranked emperor that got some, some I don't know, some ranking. Yeah, it's it's a fuck no. Mm -mm. So the five ones in reverse is you removing yourself from the drama. You're listening to your intuition here. You could be transmuting the fuck out of some energy because it's like, yeah, confirmation. It's like, no, man. What's the what's the high priestess? Yeah, your intuition. Your intuition could be telling you that this queen of wands is a hoe. Or you try to tell this person that this king of wands, that this queen of wands in reverse is a hoe. Or you or somebody, this person here could be um. Very just insecure. They like mess. They like drama. They're a bully. This bitch is a bully. It could be an Aries. What the fuck is this emperor? The high, the high priestess with the queen of wands reverse. Somebody's a loser. <laughs> yeah, the devil in the reverse. Yeah, you detach from this mess. This queen of wands in reverse is just on you heavy. They're so jealous and hateful and raggedy and lazy. So this queen of wands in reverse don't like you. <laughs> And this king of wands like you. But I feel like they're together or they were together, but they're trying to break up. It's an abusive relationship. This this man could be getting abused by this, this person. Queen of wands reverse, king, queen of swords reverse, king of swords upright, and the king of wands upright. So maybe this, it's not that this masculine is not, a, like, it, they don't have to be a bad man. But I feel like they ain't ready for no relationship. That's the thing that I'm getting here. And you're already matched up with your emperor. I would never choose nobody that's leaving an abusive relationship that i know ain't gonna give me the love i deserve they ain't did no healing they ain't did shit to leave my emperor for that absolutely the fuck not that is like the stupidest thing you could ever do where is the common sense in that i better not catch my collective doing it keep it to yourself <laughs> keep it to yourself because i don't know that's just crazy i'm not teaching y'all to be fucking dumb i know you're not dumb are you dumb <laughs> like i know you're not like be fucking for real you didn't already took your power back from this Queen of Wands in reverse. Somebody keep on doing this weak ass fucking magic on you. That's what this bitch is sitting up here doing. And you didn't already detach from this person. Whether they see the shit now, yeah, the magician reverse or not. It was hopefully they see it. But now it's like they want to say something to you, or it's like, no, nigga, what's the five of wands reverse? Like, no, please. Take that, keep that drama over there. Somebody got somebody hateful around them. It's annoying. What's the five of wands reverse? Yeah, the cherry in reverse. This five of wands in reverse, cherry reverse. This could be like extreme aggression too. 
but this could also talk about like a canceled event if i have a wands reverse you removing yourself from the drama causes a loss somewhere this is hateful energy love winning over hate something is like out of control or there's there's a blockage here i feel like you block the shit because you're not going to compete or fight over no damn man somebody wants you to do that it's like the bitch wants you to fight with them because they're a hoe that's how they move they want you to fight over some lousy ass dick that you're done with you'd have had and it probably wasn't even all that great and you didn't left <laughs> like this bitch is mad they ain't got no fucking money no common sense they look raggedy. The Queen of Wands in reverse for sure looks raggedy. This King of Wands with the King of Swords up right can definitely do better. And the bitch knows it. So somebody need to be calling the fucking police about this abuse. Period. I feel like this bitch over here trying to abuse you, Empress. It's like, bitch, you trying to abuse... Uh, girl, get the fuck. What's this? Because they're trying to manipulate you spiritually and shit like that or whatever, man. What's... Or you're trying to help this person out with some sort of abuse. They're in an abusive relationship. They need help. But it's like they got to want to help themselves though. How bad do you want to help yourself? Maybe they are doing something new. You help this person leveled up and maybe they are doing something new with their life or whatever. And it's shocking. It's shocking this bitch that maybe this person is moving on finally, which is good. It doesn't mean that they're your person, but you help somebody. I feel like this is talking about your journey of helping others heal and grow. Like you have the power to do that. You're really good at what you do, and this bitch is jealous. They're mad. They're like, oh, you, I can't beat up on this man no more. So I gotta. It's like, bitch, no, the fuck you cannot. What if somebody beat your ass? It sounds like you need a good ass whooping hoe. <laughs> like you need, you need a good one. Somebody here insecure as fuck. What's the five of wands reverse with the chariot reverse? And this reading, I'm getting. This is a damn woman doing this. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. Wow, I'm the Queen. Oh, okay. So somebody here, I feel like this is different energy. The Emperor to the Empress and the King to the Queen is, I feel like, where you're at. You could be with this person. And somebody's like, yeah, well, let me cause drama or let me cause mess in, in their relationship since, you know, the bitch tried to stop me. This Divine Feminine tried to teach this masculine to stay away from me so I can... So, so I can't abuse them anymore or keep taking from them anymore or whatever the fuck this is. Let me go and try to ruin their divine counterpart relationship. Bitch, you're not getting nowhere near over here. <laughs> somebody here mad. They're upset that somebody left them. They can't abuse this person no more and they're shocked. Or something like that. <laughs> like somebody here got some fucking audacity. The nerve. Because some of y'all are already with somebody or they coming in and it's not this person. It's not this person that just left this abusive relationship. How the fuck you going to have a relationship with somebody that's been abused probably for years? How the fuck they going to love you? Like, be for real. Be fucking for real. That's why I try to tell y'all on the community tab today. They don't even have to be a bad person. That's not the point. The point is, if you are genuinely and sincerely in your heart ready for something real, you've healed, you've grown. You mean to tell me you're going to sit and wait for this person to heal for years? It, that's You're going to miss out on your counterpart or your person? So to wait for this person to heal, who's to say that they would ever heal? We hope. But who's to say? Somebody here is cold as fuck. The King of Swords with the King of Cups in the reverse. That could be the same person. They're cold as hell. You can't do shit with this person. All they can do is help you become the Empress. And that's what you did. Now you're in a union. Probably your actual twin flame union. And it's like, bro, they were a catalyst here to help you find your emperor. Thank you, spirit. That's why they came up over the emperor, because that's not the same man. I feel like that emperor is actually your person. That king of pentacles is actually your person. You match them perfect. Spirit wants you to be in the highest vibe relationship you, you, want, you can be in. They want you to be with your contracted lover, <laughs> not this person. Yeah, kindred partnership and peace. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. I feel like this relationship that with this person taught you a lesson. Some of y'all probably even thought that this was your twin. Possibly. But this person, and it could, you could have possibly thought that because it's like you really enjoy them. You like them. They probably are a good person since they're upright. It's just they're not your person, and that's okay. <laughs> like, they need to still heal. That It doesn't mean that they did you dirty, abused you, or anything like that. If anything, they probably have ghosted you. And I feel like that's automatic no, because I mean, 
that's not nice i guess like it's just not nice you don't want your that's not your person if somebody's ghosting you why do you think that's your person it's not it <laughs> like I, I don't know I, I don't see the correlation i feel like that shit is black and white what else i even in the past try to make excuses no there's none you don't deserve to be ghosted and i feel like somebody here is looking for a boy now it's like that somebody has to go through a healing process they really do and whether they're doing it or not is i don't know letting go of urgency surrender freedom from time constraints then we have beneath the surface, hidden truth, something unknown. Hmm. Yeah, so it's coming out here. You could be sharing a story about your abuse and it's helping this person leave this person. It could be helping them like a lot. Then we have peace here and playing it safe. Yeah. Victim mentality. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Mm-mm. So beneath the surface reverse, it said when this card is reversed, the iceberg turns upside down and the hidden information becomes revealed. Some manipulation or deceit will be clearing up and honesty will be increasing in your personal and professional relationships. In fact, this harmonic energy could open up the lines of communication with others, creating greater connections on many levels. Personally, you now have the power and the courage to change old habits of negative behavior of self-talk. So keep releasing unhealthy patterns and old self-critical lies as you do your life will shine with the light of your eternal truth yeah i'm getting to i don't know why i just heard future energy like some of you guys somebody that like you could actually have a divine masculine that you're with that has a hateful mother figure and you guys could be pregnant and this person is going to have to tell their mama or tell their family and some shit going to probably pop off because their mama is hateful their mama don't like you or their mama don't like them or whatever this is but i'm not really getting that it could be though it could be who knows so letting go of urgency this card shows a man running out of a room filled with clocks and calendars he has notes to himself and the air of urgency pervades the room. Through all this frantic expectation, a tree has grown into the room and he has attached clocks to it as well. You become immersed in tasks and obligations, losing your self-priority and peace of mind in the process. But it's time to let go of the urgency and overwhelming demands. Surrender, your con surrender control and the need to stay on top of everything. Start focusing on your own life, the tree growing in the room. By setting boundaries and prioritizing your own self-care, you'll actually make it easier to get things done. Yeah. So your affirmation is, I deserve to relax and let go. I live my life at a peaceful pace and in a truly self-caring way. Yeah, so now this person is guarded against this queen of wands. They didn't drop all this responsibility with this overbearing ass, big mouth ass, dramatic, messy ass bitch. They left the bitch behind. This, this bitch is mad. They're mad that somebody is focusing on something else other than this hoe. Like they're tired of being abused. Somebody's tired of the abuse, just period. And this bitch is mad like, oh, that empress did that bitch. And somebody needed to help this person. You wasn't doing it, you fucking lousy bitch. You wasn't fucking doing it. Yeah, this could be too from a tarot reading. Somebody's a tarot reader. You could be a reader or something about that. You, something that you do for work. Has helped somebody. Yeah, I feel like this masculine right here, they really, um... Something is really over with this person. It's done with. There is no coming back because you know already. They only came around for a season. It's already done. But like in the past, this person. I feel like you're talking about your own abuse and how you got out of something and how you progress, which is inspiring somebody else. But I feel like in the past, this person really hurt you by just not opening up and being emotional with you. You couldn't figure out why. It's because they're going through some sort of abuse. Doesn't mean that they're a bad person. I'm, I'm not really picking up that they're bad. I just feel like they're just not for you. It depends on where you're at in your journey. If you're still attached to this person that's in the third party, then it's still a lesson to learn because spirit don't want you to be in no third party. Why would spirit want you to be with somebody that's already with somebody else? Why would they want you to sit and wait and block your blessings by waiting for somebody else to get out of a relationship? That's what I really want people to really think about when they listen to these readings. Like, how crazy does it sound <laughs> for somebody to be saying, like, yeah, well, that's your divine masculine, but 
but they're in a third party, but they're married. But it's like, what? What does that make sense at? I don't, I just, I don't understand. Maybe it's because I guess everybody's at a certain level of an awakening. So it could make sense at that time in their journey. You know what I'm saying? Like your perspective is different from your perspective now, just like mine was different from it is now. But I'm really just trying to get people to understand like spirit don't want you to be with them. Spirit don't want you to be in no third party relationship with no damn body. <laughs> like that's just not what spirit wanted. Just based off my own experience alone. You know? So yeah, yeah, look at the two swans here. Exactly. Some of y'all are with a twin. The two swans up here, you're already with your soulmate. You're already on cloud nine with your twin here, period. And that for, at a distance, there's obstacles and challenges and there's a hot air balloon. So something is up in the air. It's like you don't, you don't know where you're at with somebody or it's like something is always up in the air. So yeah, it's like you'd rather play it safe, like stay guarded and, you know, protect yourself. Versus like making a, a dumb move, blocking your blessings to go be with somebody that still needs to heal. This person, and it doesn't really look like they actually are to me. I ain't gonna lie to you. With the star reverse, it doesn't look like they are. Maybe they're, they're at the start of it. I don't know. But you learn from your past mistakes because you got back out there with the page of cups. And you release the things that no longer serve you. That could possibly be what that is. It's like Queen of Swords in reverse with the, the Four of Pentacles. This bitch feel like they took this person from you. It's like, bitch, you didn't take nothing, you dumbass hoe. You didn't take anything. Somebody was meant to come in for a season and leave. Something that your whole ass don't understand. <laughs> it's clear. Somebody feel like they stole this person from you. Like, no, the fuck. Is, that's how hoes think. That's why it's like, don't even pay them no mind. Somebody's a loser and they raggedy as fuck so <laughs> this was your reading aqua i hope this reading gave you clarity like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on press the all button so you guys won't miss any of my reads and i will talk to y'all later bye aqua